discuss things that feel embarrassing for absolutely no logical reason. Walking in public, waiting in a hostess stand for your name to be called. Ball pits, going into a store, not finding what you need, and walking out without buying anything. Sprinkling salt and pepper on your food, closing your blinds at night, roundabouts. I encourage you to play back that list again and then imagine yourself doing those things and it will occur to you that I'm right. When am I not? These are all embarrassing for no good reason. If my sense of humor offends you, there's probably a ball pit you can jump into and drown your sorrows. Bazinga. I'm Alex Clark and this is Poplitics. I give you the pop culture and entertainment news stories of the day and I'm not a rabid leftist. Isn't that swell? Thumbs up and subscribe if you're not a commie. Pamela Anderson is accusing Tim Allen of flashing his junk at her when she was 23. This is a huge allegation I definitely want to talk about. Podcaster and comedian Heather McMahon is going to be developing and starring in a comedy for NBC based on her life. I, be grudgingly, find myself in a position where I feel like I must praise Anne Hathaway. And in Hot Take Tuesday, we're talking about leftist politicians discovering that their own kids are in Antifa, conservatives dating people while being engaged to someone else and Ghislaine Maxwell selling us cable? Hello America, my name is Ghislaine Maxwell. If you're watching this video, it means I was arrested for no real reason. I didn't do anything and neither did Jeffrey. We was good to the children. We had to hold Ireland to protect the children from the police. We had to, it was our autonomous zone. Like Chaz in Seattle, I see you comrades. Pamela Anderson is publicly accusing Tim Allen of flashing her in her upcoming memoir, Love Pamela, which comes out January 31st. She says on the first day of filming Home Improvement in 1991, when she was 23, a 37 year old Tim Allen was in the hallway in his robe when she walked out of her dressing room. She wrote, he opened his robe and flashed me quickly, completely naked underneath. He said it was only fair because he had seen me naked. He said. Now, we're even. She writes that she laughed uncomfortably. It was around this time, by the way, if you don't know or you weren't born, that she had posed nude for Playboy. Pamela starred in Home Improvement as Lisa the Tool Girl before she moved on to Baywatch. What is becoming of Al Borland? I mean, is my sensitivity being obliterated by my overwhelming masculinity? I don't think so, Al. Variety reached out to Tim Allen for a comment on the allegations and he said, no, it never happened. I would never do such a thing. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oof, this is a sucky one. I love Tim Allen, I think all of us do, but this seems like a pretty believable accusation. I mean, I can see it happening and I know people will wanna say, well, why didn't she say anything at the time? But in 1991, Pam Anderson was quickly becoming the sex symbol of the decade. She would have been blacklisted and laughed out of town for saying something like this. It was a different time. And this is a huge bomb to drop that she's not gonna like people bringing up. She defended Harvey Weinstein when women started speaking up against him in 2017. She said that the women knew what they were getting into. Well, well, well. How the turntables. It looks to me like Pamela Anderson likes to pick and choose who's allowed to be a victim of sexual assault, so she shouldn't be surprised if people have the same reaction to her. Are you okay? Do any other conservatives feel like they're in a BDSM relationship with Heather McMahon? I loved her podcast for so long. I was so close to buying tickets to see her stand up. And then every other day leading up to the election was about how she didn't want any conservatives listening to her. She hates us, whatever. And I just couldn't do it. That's all her content was for like a while. And so I haven't been able to listen since, which sucks because she's someone I could genuinely see myself getting along with if it wasn't for her being so bigoted against people with different views than her. I like drinking wine at lunch. Drinking wine at lunch is my favorite thing. She's worked out a deal with NBC for a new series called I Can't Right Now, which is based loosely on her own life, where she's gonna play someone named Heather McDaniels. According to Hollywood Reporter, Heather McDaniels is juggling a budding comedy career with her mom, sister, and boyfriend pulling her in every which way. I wonder if Reba McIntyre will play her real life mom, Robin, because she would be perfect. Dan Levy is also confirmed to star. He's gonna be hysterical with Heather. That's why you called me in here? Yeah, look at it. I'm looking. No, look at it. Uh, it looks like a bug yeah. trapped under a glass. 
I googled that bug. It's some sort of demonic cricket that takes chunks out of your skin when provoked. Chunks is the word that Google used. It pains me to say it, but it's time I address the elephant in the room. Out of absolutely nowhere, rising like a phoenix from the ashes, Anne Hathaway is becoming one of the best dressed celebrities in Hollywood. Anne slipped under the fashion radar for decades as a pioneer in Coastal Grandmother before it was even called Coastal Grandmother. And then she decided to change things up just out of the blue, hired stylist Aaron Walsh, and the rest has been all fashion dues. I am so over Kim K's sex robot style and I miss real true high fashion and Anne is bringing it. I had something very unusual happen to me when I was young and it required me to step outside of my comfort zone in terms of my ability to speak and, and a certain comfort level with uh, just being able to get up in front of people. And I don't know that I would have developed that otherwise. So I don't know if it's innate to me or just something I've been doing since forever that it feels more comfortable. We're just getting started today. Here are more stories you need to know. Hot Tank Tuesday. After posting she was single, Selena Gomez was spotted again holding hands in public with Drew Taggart from the Chainsmokers, which means one thing. We were all right about him being an F-boy and he's telling Selena behind the scenes, why do we need to put a title on it? I'm saying, why put labels on it? Vanity Fair reported that George Santos planned an engagement dinner to a man while he was married to a woman. Can I tell you something? He wouldn't be the first in the conservative movement. No, uh-uh, here's some tea. Someone very huge that all of you love and adore and have defended is a complete sleaze, and he was dating a friend of mine at one point while secretly engaged the entire time. Obviously, my friend had no idea. You break my heart. A two-part story. Headlines reported that the daughter of Democrat House Minority Whip Catherine Clark was arrested for assaulting a cop during a Boston Antifa event. Okay, so a left-wing politician's daughter is in Antifa? Juicy. The politician released a statement saying, last night my daughter was arrested in Boston, Massachusetts. I love Riley, and this is a very difficult time in the cycle of joy and pain in parenting. This will be evaluated by the legal system, and I am confident in that process. But wait, there's more. Minority Whip Catherine Clark doesn't have a daughter. She has a son. Perhaps now would be a good time to take a step back and rethink what radical ideologies you've instilled in your children that resulted in not only severe mental illness, but violent extremism as well. What kind of mother are you? And Ghislaine Maxwell has a new job in jail. Are you in the market to upgrade your cable package, your internet bundle? You could be speaking with Ghislaine Maxwell to help you do that. For $1.24 an hour, Ghislaine will be working at her new telemarketing job straight from inside the prison walls. It's a gig several women in the prison do, according to an insider who spoke to Radar Online. They said, many of the girls work in the call center. Customers would never know they're talking to a drug dealer, armed robber, killer, or in Ghislaine's case, a a sex trafficker while upgrading their internet package. This is my office space. You're intruding my office space right now. The high today in Phoenix is only 48, hence the hat. People are crying in the streets, calling into work. That's a freaking joke, by the way. Apparently I can't joke at all or be dramatic and people think I'm dead serious. I have to give that disclaimer now, apparently, every single time. I heard the entire, this is not a joke, I heard the entire United States is about to be cold with Miami basically is the only exception what's new. My best friend Lauren lives in South Dakota now. They have snow piles as big as her house. Um, it looks gorgeous, so like a total winter wonderland, I would just like to ask Greta Thunberg, what's good? Please make sure you thumbs up this episode and subscribe to this channel. I'm very curious what you think about Pam Anderson's allegation against Tim Allen. And you also have to comment one thing that feels embarrassing, but isn't. We're back tomorrow at 4 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. Pacific. It's pop culture without the propaganda every single day. Oh, this sweatshirt, by the way, tpusamerch.com, code Alex Clark, or maybe Alex, but you'll get 10% off. I'm Alex Clark, and this is Poplitics. <laughs>